all right so now we have to handle our last condition now the condition is let's say person d is the winner of the auction so at the end of this entire auction we should allow other users to withdraw their paid bid so we will create one function through which user will be able to withdraw their biddings so let's declare one function let's give it a name withdraw bid and user will pass his address and we want to keep this function as a public it will not return anything so we are not going to write anything as returns all right so once we receive user's address we will check if that address is exist in this our data in our data or not so we will copy this address we'll check if this address is present in our mapping addresses so there is best way to check is let's put if condition here if this condition is true then only we will allow user to withdraw their money so in order to withdraw their money we'll have to add let's say bidders data dot transfer we'll have to call one function that is nothing but transfer function address and as a parameter we will pass this address value and we will simply call function transfer so we'll transfer amount of ethereum that he has in his account so that amount we will get from here so amount should be greater than 0 as per our condition let me save this so here we received one error message saying send and transfer can only be for payable address all right so we have to make this address as a payable now if i save this we compile this one more time we don't need to declare this address we don't need to declare this function let's save this so our code is compiled successfully now so for now let's simply remove this conditions we'll keep it simple let's deploy it let's say 10 ethereum so let's select any address and i will try to transfer this 10 ethereum uh, let's say 8 ethereum as a bid amount i put this order is executed and you can see this value here so let me try to do the same thing with multiple users uh, so i want to transfer 6 ethereum now this value should be greater so let's say 16 ethereum from this account and now we will consider that our auction is ended so now this person whose address is this he is the winner and the person who put 8 ethereum he basically not able to get that deal so now he will ask for refund so we'll need to refund his amount so let's copy his address and the let's test this function which we have just created which is withdraw bid so i will put his address so as you can see currently he has 91 ethereum in his account and if i click on this function and if i look back here so we received 8 ethereum back in his account so now we have withdraw function which is also working fine now well this is not the enterprise application use this contract just for the learning if you want to create any useful software from this contract i would not recommend you to do this because there will be some other cases which we did not consider at this moment so i don't want you to get through the trouble let's summarize this so you have simply created one auction platform where user can put new bids we have few functions which will give us information about who is the winner who is the highest bidder we have timer associated with the auction and at the end of the auction 
whoever is not the winner of this auction they can simply ask for a refund right so we have all the functions working now so i think that's it for this video thank you very much for watching see you in the next video bye